Building a fence can sometimes be a sizable investment, but after you give the money to the fence company, where does it go? Stay tuned and we'll dig into this week's Frequently Asked Question. This is Joe Evers, the fence expert. My family has been perfecting their way of building fence for over 60 years, three generations. While there's more than one way to build a fence, I'm here to share with you our way. All right, before we dig into this, let's make one thing clear. Every fence company's numbers are gonna look a little bit different. That's because they'll all have different payroll, overhead, and tax ratios. But for the sake of this video, let's look into see how my company figures their price of fence. At Ozark Fence, they find an average project of around $4,000. So we're using that for today's example. Now that $4,000 gets broken into five different buckets. You have your materials, labor, overhead, profit, and taxes. But sometimes those buckets even have more components within them. The material bucket is pretty straightforward. It includes any and all materials to complete your project, such as the fence, the concrete, any accessories, etc. The labor bucket not only includes the wages to build the fence, but also includes the payroll taxes paid on those wages, as well as any benefits. Life insurance, health insurance, disability insurance, those sort of things are all found within the labor bucket. The overhead bucket is gonna vary company to company. It's gonna include things such as rent, utilities, support staff, support software, and generally anything to run the day-to-day -day operations of the business. The profit bucket is exactly what you think it is. It's the money left over after the fence company pays everyone else to build your fence. Now profit is important because it keeps the business in operations for the next 10 years so that when you need more fence, they're still available to do the work. Now when we're talking about the last bucket, the tax bucket, it's important to remember that this is the effective tax, meaning that this is after the company pays for their deductions and depreciations on both your project and their business. Now next to each of the five buckets, you see a percentage. That's the percentage of the total revenue that each bucket represents. So the materials represent 43% of the cost of building a fence. The labor 30%, overhead and profit each account for 10% of the total. Taxes, the effective tax rate, is usually 7% of the total for this company. Now it's important to understand how each of these five buckets affect the cost of the fence because the most frequently asked question we get is, can you do my fence for less? Maybe the customer got several of their proposals, one maybe significantly less, or they had a friend who had a fence built roughly the same size that costs less, or the customer just from personal experience thinks the fence should cost less. For one reason or the other, they absolutely think the work should be done for less money than the contractor told them it could be done for. So say in this $4,000 example that the customer really would like the project done for $3,500 or a $500 discount. When we break the numbers out, we see that the company can't afford to give the $500 discount without stealing that money from a different bucket. Now the material prices are often already preset. You can't go back and renegotiate midstream. The labor is also set. You can't go try to renegotiate the pay rate with your employees in the middle of a project. It's simply not fair to them. Overhead is set. You can't go renegotiate rent in the middle of a year. You certainly can't renegotiate utilities. And then we have taxes. If there's one bucket that you absolutely cannot steal money from, it's taxes. They will get paid at the end of every year or else you won't get to build fence anymore. Now, I said it before and I'll say it again, that these numbers pertain to one company. Every fence company is gonna be a little bit different because they have different things in their labor bucket. Their overhead bucket is gonna look different. Their tax bucket will certainly look different. But I hope this gives you a better idea of exactly where your money goes when you pay for a fence. And there you have it. Another answer to one of our most frequently asked questions. If you have more questions about the fence installation process, check out our video series dedicated to answering your frequently asked questions.